What is up guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great weekend. As most of you guys may know, I've been having fun ripping around my little bikes for the last couple weeks, but it is finally time to take out the big bike this weekend. I've had this brand new KLX 140 RF sitting in my garage for three weeks now because I've been trying to figure out my transportation situation since I don't have a truck or a trailer. Currently living in an apartment complex, so space is kind of limited for me. Yes, I do have a garage and two parking spots, but I already have two cars and the garage is full of bikes. So I don't really have space to pick up another truck or a trailer to pull bikes with. So I had to go with a different solution. My Subaru Crosstrek already has a two inch trailer hitch installed on the rear. So I decided to go with the Black Widow motorcycle hitch carrier. The reason why I chose to go with this one is because the whole thing weighs maybe 40 pounds. Majority of it is made out of aluminum, except for the portion that actually slides into the hitch. Correction, it actually only weighs 38 pounds. Uh, and this AMC 400 model has a capacity of 400 pounds. So I wouldn't recommend getting this one if you have like a thousand cc motorcycle, like a street bike or a Harley, obviously. This thing's meant mostly for like a dirt bike or a dual sport. Here's everything that came in the package. So that's the main carrier. This is the ramp that loops onto either side. You can mount it on to this side, load the bike on, and then when you're ready to take it off, you just put the ramp on the other side and unload it that way. This is the main shaft that carries all the weight and it's made out of steel and this is what slides into the hitch. The instructions that it came with is very thorough. Considering how simple this carrier is to put together, they still go through every single step in full detail with how to put it together along with how to strap the bike down. There is also an option for a folding hitch adapter. In case you want to keep your carrier on your car or your truck full time, you just pull a pin out and you fold it up and you fold it back down if you need to access the tailgate. You only need two 13 millimeter wrenches to put the whole carrier together. I recommend pre-installing all the hardware for the main brackets, but not tightening them just yet until you have the main platform installed so you have no trouble lining up the bolts through the holes. Here's what it looks like with the bike strapped on it. I just used a ratchet strap on each side to go around the handlebar through the factory loops on the main shaft. And it's actually been very stable as it is, but as a precaution, I did an additional strap, uh, which I looped through the foot pegs and through the rear tire, just to ensure that this bike's not going anywhere. And then the ramp that you use to load and unload the bike stores away very easily back here. Uh, it's just secured in place with two bolts, one on each side, and that tightens up with a wing nut. And in case you're curious what this black bracket is for, there are multiple bolts under it that you torque down fully once the carrier is fully installed. It just keeps tension on the main shaft and on the trailer hitch uh, to help reduce any sort of wobbling or play. Considering my space limitation issue with all of my bikes in the garage and how low the towing capacity is on my vehicle, I thought that this was the most ideal solution for me to haul my dirt bike around. But I am curious to see what you guys think 
and please let me know if you have any suggestions for me. If you are interested in checking out some of Black Widow's products, I will leave some links in the description below, but it is now time for me to drive to West Virginia so we can finally take out this KLX for its first rip. If you found today's video helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects such as the KLX or my other electric bike builds, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.